Hey everybody, this is Jay Donovan from TechCrunch. We have left the hubbub and the hustle and bustle of South by Southwest to head out into the suburbs here at Austin. We came out here to see a pretty interesting demo about a new kind of magnet technology. So, I don't know about you guys, I was always into magnets as a kid. They make all kinds of crazy technology for magnetic industry, but they also have a consumer application. We're gonna see a cool demo of that. If you go to a hardware store in your town, you can buy something called magnetic primer. And what I really think of it is this magnetic receptive paint primer. It's regular paint primer with iron filings in it. And then you cover it with whatever color you want, a couple coats of you know, latex color. And what you'll find is that a regular magnet doesn't hold very well to it. In fact, I have some regular magnets here and I'll show you. Yeah, let's take a look at it. Th this wall here has been painted with uh, magnetic receptive paint primer. This is just a magnet off of our refrigerator and it, and it doesn't even hold its own weight. This is a uh, one that's small enough and light enough, so it does. But you can tell it's it you know would barely hold a piece of paper. And here's a clip that barely holds. The issue is not with the paint primer. It turns out that a conventional magnet, the physics of a conventional magnet, are such that it just saturates the really thin uh, amount of metal that's here, and then it can barely hold its own weight. So what we've done is we've invented a magnet uh, technology or a way to magnetize magnets so that those magnets can hold really well to very thin metal. And essentially this magnetic receptive paint primer is just really thin metal. So what we've taken uh, here in my house is, we've taken a, uh, you know, a standard picture frame and we've put uh, two of our Maxfield magnets on the back, here and here. And instead of holding you know, barely a few ounces, it holds you know, multiple pounds. And so you know, that's not gonna come off. You, know, it's, you actually have to right. yank it off. Yeah, let me, so it is on there pretty well. It's on there very well. And then what we do with it, after we put it up, after we get it nice and straight, you can then just take a, uh, I have a, uh, a leveling device here that I have on my, my smartphone, and I can just adjust it to be exactly level. So imagine how you would otherwise have to hang all these pictures on this wall. You'd have to measure them out carefully, pound holes in the wall for mm -hmm. uh, nails, and then string them up. And even when you did that, it would be very hard to get it, you know, this neat and this precise. But you know, if you decide you didn't like this way you decorated your hall, you know, you can just move the pictures around because, you know, all you have to do is, you know, take these pictures off and put them back up, and we just. Let's get crazy. Let's go insane. Yeah, absolutely. Wait. Uh, there you go. Upside down. You're going to have to move that over, though. Okay. There you go. And not a mark on the wall. Man, that is on there pretty well. All right. There you go. And then we can go back in, and we can make sure it's exactly straight. So let me ask a question. Um, it's on there pretty well, but let's say this weighed, let's say this weighed twice as much. Do you just add two more magnets to get the same amount of uh, strength? Do you just keep adding magnets until it's what you need? Is That's that, exactly that? right. So we okay. have magnets as an example that hold half a pound, a pound, you know, two pounds, and, um, yeah, and, and more. But uh, you know, these, these uh, picture frames probably weigh in you know, one to three pound range. And so we put you know, two magnets on the back of them just to make sure they hold on tightly. If you had a 50 pound mirror or something, you could put 10 two pound, I'm sorry, you could put uh, 10 five pound magnets on there and it would hold okay. up you know, with no problem. Right. What's the maximum weight? Well, there, is, there, is the, the maximum weight then infinite, the number of magnets you can put or? Yeah, and you could also, you could also you know, have us make you know, custom magnets that are much bigger than these, okay. but you know, bigger magnets get more dangerous. So we prefer to use you know, a larger number of small magnets. More dangerous, wait, wait what's, what's the danger involved? No, seriously, what, uh, just being around them too much or? Yeah, you know, if, if your silverware is near the magnet and it wants to you know, fly across the room. Right, magnet, right. That's a, a fork in the, in the neck or that, something. That's uh, slightly more dangerous. That's pretty dangerous, I, I wouldn't want that to happen. You also uh, want to keep your hard drive and your credit cards away from it. Well, magnetic paint primer you know, is not magnetic, it's just magnetic receptive. So this doesn't interfere with you know, cell or Wi-Fi reception at all. Um, and the magnets, you know, are, are really, the, the field is very localized, so okay. um, you're not going to have any issue with your, uh, your electronics at all. You can do this with wallpaper or with, um, you know, magnetic paint primer. Okay. And then have the magnets that we sell, which, uh, you know, are much stronger on thin metal, uh, hold really, really well. Okay, that's great. So what's, uh, what's next? What's, the, what's next for you guys, for, for your company? 
Sure. So this is really one of the only consumer-facing uh, products that, that we have. Um, you know, all our other efforts are aimed at, uh, you know, uh, product designers, product developers in a range of industries, consumer electronics, toy industry, um, you know, motor and generators, mm -hmm. uh, et cetera. So our magnet technology is, um, you know, very versatile, but this is really the, the primary consumer application that we're talking about right now. Okay. Well, it sounds pretty cool. And you, uh, I see it. Coat, hand, uh, coat hooks, magnetic coat hooks. Absolutely. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take over the world with that. Right, right. No, <laughs> thanks a lot for talking to us here.